Good morning guys, welcome back. I am out here again just taking another morning walk. I love to do this when the kids are still sleeping and I'm like wide awake and I can't go back to sleep. I'm done scrolling through my phone. I actually need to get started on walking a little bit earlier, skipping the scrolling through my phone, just jumping straight into morning exercise. Um, sometimes if you don't enjoy exercise too much, it's good to get it over with first thing in the day, wake up a little bit earlier, or if you usually do wake up and just start watching videos on your phone or something, just do some exercise instead. Maybe watch those videos while walking outside or doing something indoors, whether it's like ab work or leg work, whatever it may be, just get moving and get your body more active. So I wanted to go through some notes that I wrote down that I have noticed and some of them are pretty surprising to myself on what I have experienced ever since cutting sugar. Especially for that no sugar week that I did. It was very very helpful in um, just kind of resetting my mindset. Not so much my body but resetting my mind into not craving the sugar and not wanting the sugar but there is some more things that I've learned from like as I continued um, that I've learned in cutting sugar so I'm going to share those with you so number one and the most obvious one especially when I was doing the strictly no sugar week is that like the first maybe couple days I did notice I had sugar cravings I wanted dessert the kids wanted dessert but then after that, that just kind of died down. I no longer craved sugar. Um, I kind of found like the sweetness in the natural foods that I was eating, like the fruit, and I wasn't doing any type of sugar alternatives, but still found that I didn't really need them. Like when I was drinking my teas and stuff in the morning, I didn't require to add any type of alternative at all. And that's just after just one week of cutting out sugar. And even now this week even though I've slowly introduced natural alternatives I've been using a little bit of honey here and there um, I have like the stevia and monk fruit blend that sometimes I use but not really that much um, even now that I'm not restricting to no sugar at all I'm finding that I don't really want those things I don't want the sweet desserts and I don't want the sugary things not just to not lose my progress but just naturally like my body is not wanting it then when I do come face to face with something sweet I don't feel like um, like tempted to have it for example um, we bought a couple like sweets and candy and gum in preparing for our flight that we're gonna take tomorrow we're going to our trip and we fly out tomorrow morning and you know you need to have like gum or chewy candy or something to chew on to help relieve the pressure in your ears and stuff my husband had grabbed like a uh, extra candy that he wanted to try out and he had opened it and offered me one and i did not want any um, a couple days before that there was uh, like a kid selling candy in front of the walmart so my husband wanted to support him and whatever cause he was raising money for so he bought two bags of M&M's. So the kids split one bag of M&M's. My husband had opened the other one and I was able to refuse to eat any. Didn't really want it at all. So I didn't just want to take in the sugar just because it was there without me actually wanting it. So if I did want it, I would have ate some, but I actually felt like I could just not take part of that. Um, same thing when I mentioned when we were at my mother-in-law's in -law's house uh, we were eating pizza for lunch that day and she had bought the cream cheese brownies I had like absolute no craving no temptation to want to eat that brownie I was perfectly satisfied just with the two slices of pizza so I found that out um, they usually do say that sugar cravings go away once you quit sugar but I always thought that that wouldn't exactly happen to me because I have such a sweet tooth. Um, I love sugar, I love dessert. I've always been addicted to sugar. So who would have thought that just one week of not eating sugar would help me avoid those sugar cravings and be able to resist the temptations like right when they're right in front of me. The only thing that I have had regular sugar in lately was a couple days ago, I made a chocolate cake. Um, it was no icing or nothing, just a plain chocolate cake 
and I really just made that because we were low on groceries in the house I didn't really want something sweet but I just wanted to make something to go with dinner because dinner was super light that day so I ate some of that that day ate a little bit the next day but it wasn't like I didn't wake up wanting it like it used to be um, prior to the no sugar week uh, I wasn't waking up craving it so right along those notes it's kind of like the same thing but when I do eat something sweet I do enjoy it it tastes really good but I don't feel the need to go back to it over and over again I just kind of feel satisfied with the one serving or just like a very small portion so I find that that is good because at the end of the day you're taking in less calories you're taking in less sugar than what you used to prior to just cutting out sugar completely so that is a good side effect I have not had any more headaches except for that one time when I was doing strict no sugar I had that one headache after that I haven't had any more and even when I do have sugar and then like the next day I try to be um, not eat so much sugar or not eat any sugar at all I'm not experiencing any more withdrawal headaches after just that one initial week that we tried it all together um, when we cut out sugar completely for a whole week in a row we have been out to eat uh, once or twice in the last two weeks and I have noticed I'm not tempted like to even look at the dessert menu I'm not wanting dessert after eating or not planning what dessert I'm gonna buy before even ordering our dinner just not tempting at all um, one because we're trying to save money as well but just like I said just not craving the sugar at the end of my meals which is awesome helps you save money helps you save calories and of course helps you in your sugar your total sugar intake for the day one very surprising thing that me and my husband have noticed with quitting sugar is that we have also quit coffee um, I don't think I don't know if I'm ever gonna drink coffee again I don't think it's that bad for you but we've noticed in the past two weeks none neither of us have had coffee we've been completely satisfied with just teas um, so I do like tea in the morning sometimes if I feel like drinking like just from being used to drinking something hot in the morning I'll have tea or I've been having matcha the matcha tea with like a little bit of half and half in it mostly made with water sweetened with a little bit of honey and that has been good enough um, he's been doing the fruit fruit teas every morning and none of us have drank coffee um, I figure if I am ever gonna drink coffee again if I'm craving the taste of coffee I will probably try the decaf coffee but I find that we were just used to drinking coffee every morning just by habit I know I personally liked coffee every morning because of the cream and sugar in it and just that sweet factor right off to start my day but after drinking coffee I never really felt good it always made me a little bit nauseous sometimes it would give me heartburn without even eating breakfast yet I would have heartburn after the coffee um, my husband has also noticed that he was very dependent on his coffee in the morning he had a little bit of withdrawal there in the beginning but now he is instead of drinking coffee in the morning he's having his tea and then eating like a very light breakfast in the morning before heading to work where before he would just drink straight coffee go to work and not eat until lunchtime so I feel like that's a lot healthier for him more sustainable for him and then for me I'm cutting out the extra calories that coffee used to provide right off the bat in the morning I was probably drinking like 200 calorie coffees every single morning just from the cream the creamer or the half and half and all the sugar that I was adding so I found that really I wasn't addicted to coffee or caffeine itself I was just addicted to the sugar um, my husband was more uh, addicted to like the caffeine and the energy that I would give him in the morning but now that he's cut it out he's felt like he hasn't needed it at all so that is another good thing um, quitting coffee or like lots of caffeine it's healthy for you altogether not just for your organs but if you're on a fertility TTC journey as well cutting out caffeine can't be a bad thing at all I've also decided this year I was not going to be drinking any alcohol at all and quitting sugar has definitely helped in that because sometimes I would crave like sugary alcoholic drinks anytime we would drink anything that had alcohol in it it would either be like a very sweet mixed drink or maybe some wine 
Um, I'm not saying I'm just gonna quit alcohol forever, but definitely that has, I felt like that has helped with my sugar intake in general. I'm not craving the alcoholic drinks in the weekend. I'm not craving anything sweet in the weekend because weekends is usually when I would mess up my diet for the most part. And now I'm able to just continue with the healthy eating and being active through the weekend and not ruining all my progress. Um, alcohol for me was also very inflammatory. I would notice that I would do really good with weight loss all week and then after a weekend of just having two drinks or something the next day I would weigh several pounds more so my body was definitely like holding in water because of the alcohol and probably because of the high sugar intake as well so that is another plus and having no sugar is helping me um, not even crave or want the alcohol as well and alcohol is another one where I didn't feel good after drinking at all so I always felt nauseous always dehydrated me so it's just no good for me period so I am happy to have an easy time just cutting that out especially for the whole year the last and more obvious thing is weight loss so the one week that I did no sugar for a whole week I was able to lose two pounds ever since then a whole another week has passed by I haven't lost as much I've lost another half pound so altogether I've lost two and a half pounds which is good because slow and steady weight loss I think is the way to go I'm trying not to weigh myself every single day either um, just like once a week or sometimes I do weigh myself more than once a week but um, sometimes it's a little discouraging when you're weighing yourself every single day because if you don't see the progress then you feel like giving up or you feel like all the exercise you're doing and all the healthy food that you're eating is not really changing anything but when you space out your weight when you weigh yourself a little bit more spaced out you do notice the progress and you also notice like depending on the time of your cycle you do naturally go up a couple pounds after your cycle is done or almost done you drop those pounds again so definitely don't weigh yourself every single day but ever since cutting down on my sugar intake which probably has a lot to do with calories I have been able to lose two and a half pounds which I am happy with that I've also been exercising a lot building muscles so I technically I've probably lost more fat than that but that is how much I've lost in pounds so that is pretty much it that's everything I had in my notes that I have personally noticed with lowering my sugar intake and just trying to eat healthier in general I think number one is eating healthy exercise comes later exercise comes when you have the energy for it and the motivation for it but if you start if you just have a whole day of healthy eating at least you did one good thing for your body which was not eat the unhealthy things not eat the things that you know are bad for you or that you don't digest as well and you had a better day than the day before now if you combine it with exercise that is great as well that's even better and it'll speed up your your results faster but I, I mean if you can just eat healthy for a whole day I think that is a great thing for your body and will help you feel good in general I've still been trying to eat sort of low carb but I do eat carbs like I do eat rice and potatoes I really try to eat from all the food groups I've even been eating some bread not too much um, and I've been feeling great I haven't had heartburn I did have a little bit of heartburn that one day the first day that I ate the chocolate cake so that is because of the gluten and the flours I'm very sensitive to that type of stuff but I'm not trying to restrict it completely just trying to be very careful with it in moderation maybe like once or twice a week I'll have something that has the grain in it and then I do want to try like other grain alternatives as well I already know what sugar alternatives I like and don't like but I still have to experiment with um, grains that I can digest good without getting um, like gluten symptoms or heartburn and all the things I get when I do eat grains but hopefully this video helped you out definitely cutting sugar is always going to help regardless it's never going to hurt you so just focus on healthy whole foods um, cutting out sugar cutting out processed things and cutting out the foods that you know your body does not agree with 
because continuing to just ingest those products and ingest those foods um, is just going to continue to raise the inflammation in your body and make you not feel good, make you feel low energy and sluggish. And once you drop those things and try to eat as healthy as possible, naturally just start feeling better you start feeling more full of energy and you can actually get up and exercise instead of just laying in bed but just wanted to share that with you guys i hope you guys are doing really good this week and had a very successful week and just continue on from here no matter how many times you have to start over as long as you do start over that is what matters have a blessed weekend guys i'll see you guys in the next one